so I wanted to just jump on here and um, do a quick video on how to make these really pretty clips. All right, so the supplies that you're gonna need, of course, are the clips. And I will put a link down below, but you get about 50 for, I think, about $9.99 from Amazon. And I'll get to you within like a day or two. Um, you need the beads, of course, which you can get from Walmart. And they come in um, a strand already um, with the beads and the ends on them. So that works out perfect. Um, you can use these end clips. These come from, I got these from Joann's, but you can get them at Michael's. You do need some jewelry tools um, for jump rings and things like that. This, and then of course, a tool to um, crimp, I guess I think it's called. You need some E6000, and that's to put um, some around the bead at the tip so that they don't come off, of course. And then some options are tassels. Again, you can get these on Amazon. You can get other little beads for the um, for filler beads. Um, you can make key rings with these. They do have initials at um, Michael's and Joann's that you can add. And then, of course, just some alphabets. And they have different colors, too. All right, so first thing we do is we grab it, and then we'll do, let's see. I'm doing orange one, so let's grab these. Oh, no, it's not really pretty. Orange. And then sometimes I'll just put them in a different cup. Oh no. So grab them. And then the hole um, is 130 seconds, so it's 0.8 millimeters. If you need to find beads that are 0.8 millimeters, that'll work for you. It'll work just fine. Put that in. Get another one. Put that one. Yep pretty fast once you have it all organized. Not too bad. Then here. And I don't think I have any. So that's it so far. And let me open up one of these. Things. One second. And I almost forgot, you do need jump rings. That's if you're gonna, you know, add charms and stuff to it. I like to like go ahead and add the charm to it. Ahead of time. Not the easiest thing to do with long nails, but I got this. There we go. So now we have the end. So then I just take my E6000, I just put on a piece of cardstock. See if we can make it over here. I do is I just grab a bit and just put it on here on the tip. Okay. These are a little bit bigger, so I might need more than six thousand. Uh, 
have allergies, sorry if I'm sniffing. Okay. All right, and your clip is done. Let it dry for about 24 hours because it's see 6,000 and that's it. If you have any questions, just comment down below. Bye.